Hello happy people, I'm back with another video and today I'm going to be testing out some gel products from Enel Couture. I did um, participate in buying some of his mystery scoops and I just want to test out some of the products that were included. Um, I did get four ombre gels um, from Enel Couture. I also got two of the uh, bubblegum gels and then I also got some acrylics. So I'm going to go ahead and go through and swatch all these products out give you guys my thoughts on um, how they perform. So I'm gonna go ahead and swatch out all these ombre gels first. I'm gonna show you guys what they all look like up close first. So this here is the ombre gel in the color BB216. Um, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, right? I am not a big fan of the Eno Couture packaging. That's just my personal preference though. You know, to me, it just looks a little kiddish. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not really a big fan of the packaging itself, but I am curious to see what the what the juice inside is talking about, because that's what really matters, right? So let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so this is BB216. Oh, really quick too. These are 12 ml bottles, and it is the color BB216, okay? Okay, this is a really beautiful nude color. Ah, I like this color. Okay, and I'm really curious too. I think that this might be um, a thermal polish because it does look like the colors change from one to another. So I'm going to be testing these in hot water to see, hot and cold water to see if they change colors. So the next one here is BB217. Okay, and this here is a really beautiful kind of soft pink color. I will say that when I first unboxed this one, this one was really goopy and stringy. Still a little bit stringy, but um, not bad overall. I think I still be able to get a little bit of use out of this. And in regards to the consistency, they're very thick. That's all I can say. They're very thick. BB223. And I will say too, on, on some of these look like the packaging got a little bit banged up in transit, but I don't know if you guys know anything about those mystery boxes, those things were packed to the brim, so that's all right that it got a little banged up, okay? Ooh, this is a really beautiful pink glitter. It's like a jelly pink. That's so cute. It has some really nice, beautiful iridescent glitters to it. And last but not least here is BB225. Oh, this is cute too. This is like a clear, um, this is a clear base with some really beautiful iridescent um, glitters to it. These are really pretty. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get these swatched out let you guys know what I think about them. BB217. Okay. Yeah, they're very, very thick. And I honestly don't mind thick formulas, so I'm not mad at it. Okay. Yeah, it's thick, but it self levels beautifully. Okay, I'm going to cure. BB216. Oh, yeah. That's really nice and smooth and creamy. I'm not mad at that. Okay, I like, like the gels, I think, are pretty good overall. I like this nude here. This is a really good base for, you know, a good base or background for doing a lot of different nail art. So I do like these colors. Okay. That's really pretty. It levels like super fast. I like that. I'm going here. BB223. Okay. Yeah, the glitters are kind of clunky and chunky, but you know, not bad. I feel like these will look really, really pretty on top of a color. Okay, so I'm going to cure that. BB225. Yeah, I think these would be nice as some toppers instead of on their own. But we'll see. I'll go ahead and cure that. Okay, so next we're, we have the 123 Go Bubblegum Gel. I've heard a lot of good things about this product, so I'm curious to see what it looks like. I think it's just like that solid press on nail gel. Um, so let's take a look see here. So anytime I have products like this that are sealed, I just like to use a cuticle pusher to cut it open. So I'll do that really quick with this product. Cut it open. Okay.
Now this gel is definitely very, very thick to say the least, but it is pretty clear. Um, I will say though at the bottom of the jar, it does look like there's like maybe some like lint and debris inside of it. But let's see how thick this is. Yeah, it's really, really thick. Okay. Yeah, I think this is like that non-stick gel that you can roll into a ball and then use it to apply full cover tips. So that is really cool. I'm happy to have this. And this is a pretty decent amount of it. Um, so typically what you'll want to do is you'll scoop out, you know, the product into the nail tip, press it down a little bit, and then use it and cure on like some Gel-X nails or something. But I think I'm going to go through and actually maybe apply some Gel-X nails because I do have a video um, that's coming where I'm going to review, I think like eight or ten of ten different packs of his one two three go um, full cover nail tips so maybe i'll go ahead and do a review on how to apply them um but yeah this is kind of like his his gel -like system here so cool to have that the last one here is the one two three go pink bubblegum gel so let's see what that's looking like oh nice it's a pretty pretty pink color Very nice. I will say this is a pretty pink color. I do like that a lot. Don't mind the stringiness that's coming from the top here. I don't like to waste any product, you guys. So I'm just going to scrape all of that right back on into the container. Okay. Just like this. <laughs> and actually, let me just go ahead and see what the product is like on the hand. I, I kind of don't want to touch it, but I am. <laughs> Okay, yeah, so it's just like that non-stick gel, kind of like I had thought. I do not recommend you guys touching this gel product with your hands. You know, this is just me. You know, those who have gel allergies, that could be a problem. So, yeah. It's kind of non-stick. It's really soft, malleable. This is something, too, that could be cool for some 3D nail art, I must say. So this could be a very, very much so a multi-use product. I could see this being used to do like some 3D nail art. So it seems like a pretty cool versatile product. And I do like this shade of pink. So this here is what that one, two, three go pink gel is looking like. I like that it's a deeper mauvier pink instead of like a super bright Barbie pink. So yeah, these are the one, two, three go bubblegum gels. And I will say too, also on both of these, I really, really like the packaging. I think they're super cute. Um, in, in general, I'm not the biggest fan of his packaging, but I do actually like these little containers. They look like little mini cauldrons. <laughs> so I actually think that's pretty cute. So yeah, I like these. I'm excited to give these a try. And then last but not least, I'm gonna be going in with his acrylic powder in Eternal Beige. Let's take a quick look at what this looks like. Apparently this is like his like uh, signature color. So I'm excited to see, you know, um, so I'm excited to see how it performs. Um, I'm curious, I don't know how big this container is. It doesn't really say, but um, yeah, it seems like it's a decent size. So let's see. I love the fact that it comes sealed. That's really nice. So let's open this up. And the first thing I'm gonna do is just feel the powder to get the consistency of it. Okay. Overall, it's a pretty fine glitter. Yeah, it's pretty smooth. It's fine and smooth, okay? So let's go ahead and get it swatched out. I'm going to get it swatched out with my Young Nails Nail Liquid with my Young Nails Monomer. Yeah, y'all, let's see how it performs. So let's show you guys how it picks up and sets up, okay? So I am going to go ahead and pick up the bead here. I'm gonna saturate my brush with monomer, okay? And I'm gonna tap into the product. I'm gonna go one, two, three. This is how it sets up. Sets up nicely, okay? Um, so when the acrylic is setting up, once you see that the bead surface is clear, that's how you know it's ready to be set down. So okay, I'm gonna go ahead and swatch this out and see how I like it. Seems pretty good overall. Not bad to work with. Seems pretty easy. Going with another bead. Again, this is how it sets up. Okay, set it down. 
yeah, I mean, it looks like it's pretty easy and nice enough to work with, I'll tell you that. I don't think you'll have a hard time working with this if you're a beginner to acrylics. Yeah, that's nice. I'm going to go in with just a little bit more here, build up the opacity, like so. Yeah, easy peasy to work with. And this is a really beautiful nude. I'm gonna go ahead and let that set. Alrighty, so this is what all the colors are looking like swashed out. We're gonna give you guys up close of what they look like. This one here is the ombre gel in color BB216. This is a really beautiful soft nude color. I'm actually quite happy to have this in my collection. I think it's gonna be a really nice base for doing abstract nail art. Um, and also just a really good um, nude for some ombre cup for some ombre nails glitter ombre So I actually really like this a lot BB 217 Which is another really beautiful nude base has a slight pinky undertone to it. The other one had a brown undertone They actually look pretty similar if you look at them But if you look at them if you look at them to the naked eye They look almost the same But if you look at them really up close this one here has more of a brown base and this one here has more of a pinky base. This here is the color BB223. Uh, um, this one, I found the glitters to be pretty chunky, um, but overall it's a really pretty pink color with some iridescent glitters inside. This here is BB225 and I actually really like this glitter. It's really pretty. I love the iridescent shift to it and it was actually pretty smooth. It did lay fairly flat. And I did want to test these in hot water just to see where they thermal because I thought they were and when I put them inside of hot water they don't do anything. So um, they're not thermal. I guess they're supposed to just be really good for glitter ombres I suppose. So maybe that's where the ombre name comes from. <laughs> okay happy people. So after I posted my video yesterday of my unboxing one of my awesome subscribers or viewers told me that they are not thermal polishes they actually glow in the dark and oh my gosh the glow is so beautiful and so bright you guys so shout out to crystal peach shout out to you darling for letting me know that they glow in the dark because i had no idea i it made me fall in love with these polishes even more and last but not least is their acrylic and eternal beige i think this is a really really nice nude color so i'm glad that they sent this particular acrylic to me i mean it looks like it's going to be really great against my skin tone. Looks like a pretty good universal nude too. So my final thoughts on Enel Couture. I actually think they have pretty decent products. I don't know why, you guys, and I'm going to be completely honest with you. For some reason, I wanted the reason not to like his products. Um, but I must say, I actually really do like them. Maybe it was the packaging that threw me off. I don't know, you guys. But the product that's inside is actually fairly good. Even that one polish that was kind of thick and goopy seemed like it might have been expired it still performed fairly well to where I'd be able to use it um, if I don't end up using it on a client I can always use them for press on nails or I can use it um, as a base to do different nail art designs so these colors are very practical and they're going to be very very useful so I'm really happy with my mystery scoops y'all so yeah I hope y'all enjoyed the video have you all tried Eno Couture products do you like them what do you think about them um, I was also very impressed with the performance of his acrylic it actually is very easy to work with and it's beginner friendly um and I, got to, I forgot to show you guys too how it looked like glossy so that's what it looks like glossy on the inside there but yeah very happy i have nothing to complain about here if you all missed my initial unboxing of my email couture mystery scoops i'm going to leave that video link down in the description box below and i'm going to be honest with you guys i do have a few more on the way so there might be a follow-up video to that but yeah i do upload every tuesday thursday and saturday if you all like what you saw here definitely stick around join the happy family i'd love to have you and and as always, you guys, leave some love in the comments down below, and I'll see you in my next video. I hope you all have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. Bye!